hello guys in this video i'm going to talk about flutter in five minutes so in one sentence it's basically used to build cross-platform apps so basically a single code base which you're gonna run it in different platforms like ios android and web so it is as simple as you know writing the code once and you get a button okay where is the drop okay so basically you get a button and you can choose which platform do you want to run it in so so basically let me open so this is uh, my chatbot integration so how it works is so over here you are going to connect your phone through the through the usb cable and you should allow usb debugging it's in the developer option so and you have to choose that thing and it will run it for you so when i choose web and when i click on run it will yeah take its time and run it for you so which language so every, you might be thinking like flutter means you know flutter language or something like that but it uses the uh, dart programming language so it is uh, kind of similar like so basically there are widgets in uh, flutter which is similar to component components in react if you had studied that so coming to so dart uh, yeah you can uh, it's pretty similar to python or something i find it similar to python so coming to tools there are uh, two uh, popular options out there one is android studio and another one is v uh, vs code so in vs code you have to install a uh, flutter extension and with that you can directly run it so the thing with android studio is I find it is kind of heavy compared to VS Code. So VS Code, I, I already use it to run everything. So I just thought, why not just do it in VS Code? But yeah, you're free to use Android Studio as well. So uh, yeah, at the end, I'm going to talk about resource, which is uh, best for this. So coming to my work, my work was to integrate Dialogflow, which is basically a chatbot in Flutter. So Dialogflow is pretty simple to integrate on a web page because they already give you a script tag and you can just paste it somewhere in the site and it'll go up and running so but in flutter you had to i had to build my own ui so so this was my simple ui so the bot and the message section and things like that and uh, i had to create an api key from dialog flow and link it to my site and uh, I think you just watch one one or two videos and you'll get the hang out of it so come into the resource uh, and by far the best video on this is this 20 hour guide you don't have to watch the full video you, you'll get a gist of it you know first watch the dart section and then you can watch the flutter section and I, there are uh, timestamps mentioned in this so this is a pretty good one because it covers everything so if it is something you know you're gonna take it seriously then i would say this is a very good course uh he also helps you make three different uh, projects so that's pretty good if you want to get started in that so yeah that's it for today's video i uh, hope you had a good day and coming to the bugs i faced one was i was not able to uh create a virtual device and if you so what you do is whatever error you get just put it on youtube and there is a video which tells you to on how you can go back to the previous version so that was a, a problem which i had for like one one hour so if you have any problems you can uh, put it down in the comments i will help you if it's regarding flutter so yeah that's it for today's video i hope to see you tomorrow